You ever get a bus driver who drives like they're running from God? You're really complaining about the discount roller coaster? Today I learned when people are electrocuted and thrown far distances, it is a result of a sudden and violent muscle contraction, and not the result of the shock. This has raised questions as to the actual strength and capabilities of the muscles in the human body. Are you telling me we're capable of eating ourselves when under extreme stress? Cowboys never die. They just ride off into the sunset. Is that what your parents told you when you came back from school one day and your cowboy was missing? <laughs> he just yeehawed to another ranch, y'all. I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine, but then stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it in the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowes, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. The world would be so much better if people would just unironically write stuff like this. I'm tired of books that take themselves seriously. Caterpillar of the Saturday Day Moth. Extremely don't eat me. Caterpillar. Be there. Or... Ha! That square is five Bs by six Bs. I'll have you know that is a B rectangle. You have failed. Um, excuse me, Avatar. I see more than four elements. Yes, hello. I am the last Berean Bender. The fact is, we need a uniquely American solution to approaching this pandemic. Like a nationwide competition where if your state has the least percent infected per capita, everyone gets free Taco Bell or something. Strangers would not hesitate to shame your non-mask wearing ass if a fucking free Baja Chalupa was on the line. I... I kind of think that would work. It's so stupid it might just work and I hate it. Ah yes, the pizza party model. Effective every time. PM, what is your opinion on Siren Head, but it makes anime noises instead of creepy radio noises? <sighs> the idea of walking into the forest and seeing a 20-foot siren face demon saying, I need John! is scarier than anything I can comprehend. I actually really liked the concept of Siren Head until 15 seconds ago when I read this ask. I know. Elephant Rock, Iceland. This is an old god, sleeping. Nah, he's not asleep, he's just taking a long sip. Do you ever get, like, water hungry? Did you mean thirsty? No. Water hungry. That is what we're calling it now. Yo, who's gonna DM at my wedding? We're all for wedding vows. It's a nat one. Be husband. I say nervously as I accidentally knock out the marriage efficient and somehow eat the ring. The ancient Greek god Zeus used to disguise himself as animals in order to seduce women. So technically, he is the first ever furry. The idea of Zeus looking at a woman and going, it's raw XD time, is gonna haunt me forever. The Food Network show I want. Four chefs compete in a contest to determine who is the best, but they are not given certain ingredients they must use. Oh, they can use whatever they want. They are given the name of the dish. The judge says, make me purple Nirvana. And we get to watch one chef make au gratin blue potatoes, another make a blueberry shortcake, and etc. The worst dish is eliminated until one chef wins. Oh my god, I watched the hell out of this. Call it the name of the game. Food Network! I call me! Let's do this! I was baking a strawberry shortcake for my mom and I realized that I forgot the baking powder. I began to panic, so I pulled the cakes out of the oven, and they were already completely baked, but they rose just fine without the baking powder? I was staring at them in confusion, trying to remember if I accidentally put yeast in the powder, when I felt a shadow loom over me. I looked over my shoulder only to find Luigi. Luigi tenderly took my hands and told me, You don't need to worry, for I will accompany you in any and all of your baking endeavors. I have never felt more loved in my life. I cried. I thought this was the mother of all shippos. The casting director. We need the voice of Pikachu to be a recognized name, but it's going to be tough to find a respectable actor who, Ryan Reynolds, ME! I'll do it! Pika Pika, motherfucker! Why does the King George song from Hamilton have BDSM undertones? That's so unnecessary. Well, absolute monarchs always radiate BDSM energy. I'm angry because you're not wrong! I feel like everyone worships avocados, and I'm struggling because it just tastes like compressed wet grass lump, but nobody will listen, and I'm all alone in this world. Don't mark my squishy hawk nuts! This is the worst thing that could have happened to this post. A few days ago, I was walking past a basketball court and a ball flew at me and I didn't flinch, caught the ball, threw it back at the guy, responded to his thanks bro with a nod. 
It was like the ghost of some guy named Chad took over me so I didn't, like, embarrass myself. God bless you, Ghost Chad. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even melt a tomato? I just realized that is, in fact, a pile of ketchup. Every time I think of the black market, I actually imagine a market with little stalls selling illegal things like nuclear weapons and organs. I thought it was a load! Wait, so that's not what it is? I hate how reward systems never work for me. Like, I can't just say, if I finish this assignment, I can have a cookie. Because my brain is like, or you could just have one right now. And I can't argue with that logic. Yeah, self-imposed deadlines don't work either, because I know the guy who set them and he's full of shit. Exactly. We need more art of Remy and something besides the leather jacket. Yo, what's going on in the Ratatouille fandom? Why would a rat wear a jacket? Kitchen's chilly. I get it. All right, two things. One, labels exist to help people understand things about themselves and others. And two, you are not obligated to use labels you don't find comfortable or helpful, even if others try to press them on you. Not a shit post. Serious post. Very serious. Okay, Scooby said rut row. Shaggy said Zoinks, Velma said Jinkies, and Daphne said Jeepers. What did Fred say? Fred says... Fred.